Learning to trade can be difficult because it's the only way to make coins within FIFA that EA doesn't educate you on. Yeah, they introduce you to the transfer market to buy and sell players, but they're both done separately. It's not a tutorial of how to buy and sell players for profit. The best way to learn how to trade is to look at others within the community. And with that, some of them are reliable, others not so much. That's why in today's video, I'll be going through the best beginner friendly methods that you can use within FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. But before we do get into the video, if you're looking to skip trading and just get to the point and where you do have coins in your account, then there is no better place than Mule Factory. Head over there to get yourself some cheap, fast FIFA 22 coins, completely reliable. And if you use Fnatic 5 at checkout, you'll get yourself a 5% discount. Link can be found in the description down below. Getting back into the video, all the methods included in today's video are methods that I've used on a regular basis. Yes, the video title is the top seven beginner trading methods that you can use, but it's not just about using these methods at the beginning of your journey. They can also be used once you have hundreds of thousands, potentially even millions of coins. They're great to bring in extra coins as you can quickly trade with these types of players. The first method to highlight is the bronze trade method. This is what I go to every single time when I'm starting a new account. I even showed you guys quite recently when we went through the 0 to 1 million coin trading series. The bronze method was the first one that we used. And for you to use it within your strategy, all you need to do is head over to the transfer market, set the quality to be bronze, and then just search. You'll see all the bronze players that are about to expire. Now you're just going to go across each player looking for the ones that currently have bids on. If they don't have a bid, it's a good sign that they're not below market value. In the time that they've been listed, no one else thought that they could potentially be a good deal. So there's no point wasting your time trying to compare the player's price. Look for those with bids on because that is a good indication that they are listed below the lowest buy now. Once you find a player with a bid on, add them to the watch list and then compare that player's price. If the player that you added to the watch list has a bid of 150 coins, but once you compare the price and the lowest buy now is 400 coins, you can place a 200 coin bid. And once you win them, you can list them at 350 to 400 and you will be able to sell them on for profit. In that example, it's not a crazy amount, but remember we are at the beginning of the journey. If you do only have a couple hundred to a couple thousand coins in your account, this can really scale up and you can find some bronze players which are valued a lot higher. It's not rare for you to find a player which you can get from anywhere between 200 to 600 coins ready for them to sell for 2000 coins. The next method is the silver method and this is exactly the same as what we just mentioned with the bronze method except now we're looking at silver players. You do the exact same thing. You set the quality to be silver, search the transfer market, look for players with bids on, add them to your watch list and then compare the player's price. If the bid is lower than a buy now, you'll place a bid. The difference between the two methods is with silvers, it's a lot harder to get the deals. So there's a higher chance that you'll get into a bid and war and even pay a bit more. But with that, those players can sell for a bit more as well. It's not uncommon for silver players to be valued more than 3000 coins. So with that, because there is more attention, you will have to pay a bit more. But with it at the end of the day, you will be able to make more in profit. The third method, this of course is bulk bidding. If you've watched any videos before on this channel, you probably have heard me talking about bulk bidding because this is the number one way that I recommend for players to start trading. It takes next to no time whatsoever. You need no experience. All you need to do is find a player. The good thing with this method is that you can really use any type of player. But as we are looking at beginner friendly methods, I'm going to assume that you have next to no coins. And if that is the case, you want to be looking at rare gold players valued anywhere between 800 all the way up to say 1,500. And to best find these types of players is to go over to a site such as Footbin, where you can set the quality to be rare gold and rare gold cards are the best when going through this type of method. And you can also set the price to be anywhere between 800 all the way up to 1,500. This will give you a list of every single rare gold player that fits those parameters. Now it's just a case of trial and error. If there's a player listed at 1,000 coins, what you need to try and do is get them on a bid at 800. 
you'll just go across the transfer market bidding on every single player up until you reach a time limit where you don't want to wait that length of time or up until you get the max amount of number within your watch list which is 50. Then it's just about waiting, waiting for all of those players to expire. You will know if you found a good player if you can get anywhere between 30 to 40. Now individually you're only making 150 coins after EA tax, really not too much. But if you are able to get 30 to 40 with each of them giving you 150 coins, this is where it starts to add up and you could be on your way to be making thousands. The fourth method is the bronze pack method. Now this one isn't so much of trading, but it is a great way to build your club. If done correctly, you really can't lose. You'll head over to the store, go all the way down to classic packs, You'll select the bronze 750 coin pack and you will open it. Inside you'll get a mix between players, consumable stuff and even club items. With the players you want to compare the price of each and every one of them. If they're listed for 150 coins bid and the 200 coins buy now, there's no point listing them onto the trans market. That player is already at his minimum and no one is buying them. So you'll store those types of players to your club. For anyone that sells for more than this, even if it is 250 coins as the lowest buy now, you will list them onto the trans market. For those that do sell, you will be able to claim your coins back and hopefully that will pay for the pack itself. With the players that you store to your club, you'll be able to use them with silver upgrades and eventually you'll get silver players. Those silver players can be used for common gold players and those common gold players can be used for rare gold players. Eventually, you'll be building your way up to complete a number of different SPCs and those players can either be used within your club or to go on to claim other SBC rewards. This method won't make you a millionaire overnight and it is something where you need to keep throwing coins in it for you to reap the benefits, but it is a very simple method to go through. The fifth method is the player chem style method. This is where you'll go through the top five major leagues, Premier League, Liga and Syria, Bundesliga and La Liga. With each league, you're going to be looking at the defenders, midfielders and forwards, and you're also going to set different chemistry styles making sure that the chemistry style is appropriate to the type of position that you're looking at. It makes sense for you to look with Hunter with forwards, Catalyst with midfielders, and Shadow with defenders. When you search each of these leagues within each of these positions with the different chemistry styles, you're really comparing the price difference. If you're looking in the Premier League and there's a defender with a Shadow chem style listed for 1,000 coins, when the rest are listed at 1,500, you can buy the one at 1,000 coins and then list it higher at 1,400 to undercut the market or to be the same as the market at 1,500. You'll find loads of different deals that you'll be able to buy, list immediately onto the transfer market and as long as you keep on relisting, eventually they will sell. The sixth method is the cheap 1-2-3 method. There's loads of different variations that you can use for this filter. The one that we show the most is where you go over to the trans market, set the minimum bid to be 10,000 coins, the maximum bid to be 20,000 coins, and the minimum buy now to be 30,000 coins. This will separate the good from bad deals within that price range. You can even take it to a more expensive version where you look at 100,000, 200,000, and 300,000. But as this is beginner trading methods, we're taking it all the way down to the beginning where you will be looking at 1,000, 2,000 and 3,000. For a little extra assistance, I also recommend using Footbin so that you can quickly type a player's names in to find their exact price listed onto the trans market dependent on the platform that you're using so that you don't need to go back and forth. But very similar to previous methods that we've gone through, you're just going to search with this parameter and you're going to go through each player individually. What you're looking out for are those that currently have bids on. Very similar to the bronze and silver methods that we mentioned at the beginning of this video, if they have a bid on, it's a good indication that they're listed lower compared to the lowest by now. So once you do find a player with a bid on, you can head over to Footbin, type that player's name in, and if the bid is currently lower compared to the lowest by now, and there's still room for you to make profit, then it makes sense for you to place a bid. If you win them, you'll then list them for the lowest buy now. And the final method for this video is of course sniping. Sniping isn't my favorite method within the game. I'll be the first to admit that, but I can't deny that it is a great way for beginners to make coins without it being too much effort. 
You will simply look for a specific type of player or a specific group of players, find their lowest buy now. And instead of trying to get them on a bid, you're actually going to lower that buy now even further so that you can get them for cheap. Now, your hopes are that someone else is going to list something that fits those requirements so that you will be searching at the exact same time in which they will be listing. This you need to be quick and it's about being in the right place at the right time. But if you do time it correctly, you'll be able to buy items a lot cheaper and then list them for their actual buy now price. When I do go through this, I look for different types of team of the seasons, other types of special cards, silver team of the weeks. But as you are just starting and a beginner, I recommend looking at some of the cheap rare gold players or you can even go and look at chemistry styles. Chemistry styles are always being packed and for loads of people that do get them, they don't bother to look at the lowest price. They just list them for whatever they're happy to make out of those types of cards. So you can get a lot of these for a fraction of the price and they're constantly being thrown onto the transfer market. But anyway guys, those are the 7 best beginner friendly FIFA 22 trade methods that you can use within Ultimate Team. If you do have any questions about anything, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see ya.